This session is about HTML basics. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is a client side language. HTML is a case insensitive. Why do we use HTML? Go to any website. The contents of website are headings, paragraphs, images, links, tables. All these are visual elements. To create these visual elements, we need to make use of hypertext markup language. Coming to the basic building block of HTML. The basic building block of HTML is tag. That each tag in HTML is having name, start and end. The tag name is enclosed by angular brackets. This is start of the tag. This is end of the tag. We can observe the difference between the start and end of the tag. The end of the tag, the tag name is enclosed by the angular brackets, but here we can observe the slash. In between the starting and ending, there is a content. The content is either text or it may be another tag. Coming to the definition of HTML element is everything between start tag and end tag, including the tag. Next, we have to discuss the skeleton of HTML. Here, the name of the tag is HTML. This is a start tag of HTML. This is the end of HTML tag. The content between the start and end of HTML tag describes web page. Go to browser. The browser is having title bar, address bar, followed by the body part of the web page. Here I want to make one thing clear. To create a visual element or to represent a visual element, we need to make use of the HTML element. Each HTML element is used to represent a visual element of a website. So we have to know what are the HTML elements available to create the visual elements of your website. Based upon this, I am improvising the skeleton of HTML page. Here we can observe that the body tag is nested within HTML tag. Here, why do we use body tag? The body is a visual element. To represent the body visual element, here I make use of the tag body. And we know that all the visual elements we see any kind of our website are within the body part of the website so all the visual elements must be nested in within the body tag now using a practical approach i will show you how to create a html file here root tag is html this is the start of html tag this is the end of the HTML tag. To represent the body visual element, we are making use of the tag name body. This is the start of the body tag. This is the end of the body tag. Now I am going to represent the heading element. The heading element is within the body part of any website. To create the heading visual element, we need to make use of some tag. The name of the tag is h1. h1 start tag, h1 end tag. In between the start and end tag of h1, we have to write the content. The content is either a text or it may be another tag. In this case, I am writing text. The content here is heading 1. Control S, save this program with an extension .html or .htm. The name of the file is first .html. Okay. Now the file is saved. Go to the location and the file is saved with an extension .html. Open this the .html file with any available web browser in your PC. Here I open the file with the Chrome web browser. Here we can observe that using 
the body tag we represented the body visual element using the h1 tag we represented the heading what happened here this is the right situation to know what is the purpose of our web browser the web browser reads the content of the .html file and it display it as a web page to keep it more detail the .html file contains html elements it reads the html elements one by one and it will generate the corresponding visual elements this is the purpose of a web browser now we saw how to represent the heading using h1 tag i want to represent another heading this heading is much smaller than the h1 the name of the tag is h2 this is the start tag of h2 this is the end tag of h2 don't forget to keep here slash between the start and end tag of h2 write here the content save the program and go to browser open first.html refresh the page here you can observe that using h2 tag we created another version of heading but its a font size here is much smaller than h1 to create another version of heading we need to make use of the tag name h3 the start of h3 tag the end of h3 tag the content here is heading 3 save the program go to browser refresh the first one dot the first dot html here we can see the heading 3 the heading 3 is much smaller than heading 2 and much much smaller than smaller than h1 similarly we have in html six versions of headings i am writing all those things at once h4 the start tag of h4 the end tag of h4 the content here is heading similarly h5 i told you we have six versions of headings h5 heading 5 the last one is heading 6 it is the smaller version of all these headings the start tag and end tag write the content between the start and end of the h6 it is heading 6 save the program open the first one dot html in browser refresh it we can see all the six versions of headings are displayed within the body part of our web website so from this we can say that html provides the six versions of heading to present the six versions of heading we need to make use of the tags h1 h2 h3 so on h6 similarly i want to show you another visual element so as we know we are familiar with the paragraph the paragraph is also in the body part of a website to create or to represent the paragraph visual element we need to make use of a tag the name of the tag is p p starting tag of p and end of p in between the start and end we have to write the content of the paragraph or the content of paragraph tag i am copying you from here here i have written uh, the content of the body tag save this and go to browser and refresh the first one dot html page this is the paragraph tag what happened here to represent the paragraph visual element i make use of the p tag similarly if i want to represent the text in bold 
there is a tag the name of the tag is b the start of the b tag the end of the b tag write the content in between the start and end of the b tag save go to first one dot html and refresh here we can observe that the text is represented in bold similarly if you want to represent the text in italic we need to make use of the tag name i this is the start of the i tag this is the end of the i tag right here content i am italic save go to first one dot html refresh here you can observe that the font is represented in italic here the italic text is displayed as next to the bold text in the same line if i want to take the italic text to the next line there is a tag the name of the tag is br using the br tag we can create a new line the br tag is the self ending tag the self ending means it is it is having only the start tag there is no need to mention end of the tag i want to take i am italic to the next line so here i am representing here i am writing the br tag save this program and go to first dot html refresh and you can observe that the italic font is displayed in a new line means to create a new line you have to use the tag br here i want to display the text in paragraph as in bold for this i told you we can make use of bold tag go to dot html file and this is paragraph tag the content of the paragraph tag is now i am nested within the bold tag this is start and end of the bold tag you can here observe that the bold tag is nested within the para p tag and the content is nested within bold tag save this file and go to dot html first dot html save and you can see here the the text in paragraph now displayed as the bold this is how we can nested the element within another element